Hey, what's up, man? YouTube, what's up, man? Shout out to the YouTube viewership. You guys out there that are watching this, I'm getting over a thousand views on an hour long podcast every single time. That means a lot. Um, we are one week away from the year anniversary of the Nita Podcast, episode 52. So, this, let me see what I gotta do here. There we go. Boom. Two topics for tonight. We're gonna talk a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot about man, a lot about leaderboards, a lot about the shit that's been going on over the last week. A lot about everything. But we are a week away from 52 weeks of the Need a Podcast, man. So I'm excited about that. Uh, we're going to keep it moving. Hope everything is good. Hope all you guys are having a great Tuesday. It's crazy now, man. It's getting football season. I know that because when it's time to record these podcasts, it's dark out. It's like there's no more sunlight, man. Nighttime, the seasons are changing. It's cold. I got my heater on right here, the little space heater. Keep my feet nice and warm. The season is changing, and that means it is Club Series time. Now, Club Series now the prize pool of Madden, and I will tell you this right now, Chet. I don't want to talk about prize pool anymore. I never want to talk about money because that shit's not changing. That ship has sailed. I don't. I we can't talk about that anymore. You know, as much as we thought it would change from four years ago, or whatever, it doesn't change. But, so, but that being said, the million dollars or whatever they give away, $700,000 of it, which is 70% or whatever, you know, 60 to 70, a lot of goddamn money, which I don't know who signed up for that. Um, it will break this down of them paying a bunch of different people. I think everybody that actually qualifies for clubs gets some money, something like that. So you qualified. I mean, I appreciate you guys very much so for qualifying. Um, that uh, that is tough, you know. If you qualified, you probably got two hundred bucks or something like that. But one of the reasons that's a pain in the ass is because you know the guys that are really good don't win that much money, and uh, so it's a little bit rough. But that being said, seven hundred thousand dollars is going down, and the leader or the, everybody that qualified is set. Barring any auditing, which I don't think will happen, which I believe the chat, you guys can remind me, Vilma actually got removed from Club Series two years ago for getting free wins for me. I gave him free wins. Free wins are a big thing. We'll talk about that going forward as we sit here and we talk about the leaderboards. That concluded, the leaderboards concluded yesterday or 3 a.m. to uh, give or take, what, 15 hours ago or 17 hours ago, something like that. So, so to me, um, the leaderboards changed, uh, and we, as we end a Madden qualifying season, the one thing you look back on the leaderboards and you say to yourself, what can be changed now these things have been talked about and talked squawked about and i have made these suggestions and meetings with the people that supposedly matter and uh, it's kind of beating a dead horse to this point you know and i want to start any of my talk about the leaderboards as we start you guys you guys right there in the chat before you guys start putting you know your thoughts into it which is very important the first thing I want to say, if you did not qualify for Club Series, one, you did not try hard enough, two, you aren't good enough. It's not EA's fault. It's not the leaderboard's fault. It never is, period. I never want to hear. EA is never the reason you didn't qualify. The shitty leaderboard system is never the reason you didn't qualify. Disconnections are never the reason you didn't qualify. One, you mismanaged your time, you did not grind properly, or two, you're simply not good enough. You did not win enough games. It is as simple as that. There is no excuse for you not qualifying for club series, period. I don't want to hear people whine. I don't want to hear people cry. It is 1,000% your fault. You didn't do it right, you didn't grind enough, or you're not good enough. That's it, period. It is nobody else's fault. Nobody else's fault. So for me, uh, I, I hate when people, I hate seeing people complain about that. It, it is the easiest tournament to qualify, you know, whether, whether the leaderboards are broken, which they are pretty shitty and um, nobody knows how they work. And we talked about this last year so, or last week so much, nobody knows how they work, but 
if you didn't qualify, you're not good enough or you didn't try. You know that or you didn't try the right way. You know, or you said, oh, I'm such and such. I did this. I'm good at man. I can wait for the last week. Shit. I waited for the last two weeks and I, I made fourth place on the Eagles, you know. Honestly. Now, we talked about the leaderboards last week. We talked about how bad they are. Uh, and and for me, you know, I'm not going to talk about the same thing I talked about last week. The leaderboards are pretty bad. Um, And one of the things, and we talked about all the things we could, we could do to make them better. Yeah, top four. Yeah, top one. Top two. They don't listen, you know. And Club Series has killed the leaderboards. Killed the leaderboards. Not only the combination of Club Series and the last two years of Classic being completely offline have killed leaderboards, you know. Uh, so that takes two of the, the four majors away. The last major doesn't even have leaderboards. So essentially, it takes it leaves us with one leaderboard, you know. And they, I don't know what else can be done. We have talked about this a million times over and over and over and over. What can be done. And for me... Uh, and I said a bunch of different things. But anyway, let's talk about the last weekend of grinding. You know, whether you should play, whether you shouldn't play, disconnections. And this goes back to the point I just made. If you are in this situation, it is 1,010% your fault. Killy in the chat. What's up, man? It is 1,010% your fault. A, you didn't play enough or at the right time. And B, you're not good enough. That's okay. You know, I was barely good enough. I got into the top five. I said, All right, I had enough. I don't want to play. Now, I searched and looked at the leaderboard for about every hour I looked at it. You know, but for me, the things that happened the last weekend are a product of the system. They are a product of the yeah the system. They are a product of what we are given. You know, if you. Well, they say if you give somebody an inch, they'll take a mile, which is pretty nuts. Uh, not not pretty nuts, but it's pretty true. You know, if you let people cheat, they're going to cheat. You know, it's going to happen. Now people are smart enough. Oh, I'm going to give a free win every other game. Or let me give a free win. Let me score some points so it's not obvious it's a free win. It's on this game. Or today. Free wins are going to happen. It's part of the game. It really is. And honestly, it sucks that some of you guys don't have people to get free wins from. But that's all a part of being established in Madden and being around a long time, you know. And then that's why it's a little tougher to get on a Madden scene. That because, you know, those guys have people to give them free wins. But that's what they get for, you know, <laughs> being around that long, you know. And it's to the point where EA, I, at this point, EA probably can't do anything. I do like, I do like the idea that I've said last year and the year before. Bro, why does it have to be, honestly... They could have cut the leaderboards off a week earlier, and I'd have been cool with it, honestly. Seriously. Like, that's how I feel, like, and not tell anybody. Like, yeah, we cut it off Friday and not tell anybody. Just so these free wins don't happen. Or let's say we'll cut it off at 3 a.m., but we really cut it off at noon, you know? Now, and when I go back to the thing. If you need the last day to qualify, then you did not do it right. Period. Simple as that. If if you if you need the last day, you you shouldn't qualify. You. Then then you you didn't do the right job. It goes back to exactly what I said. Honestly, I don't I don't I want to talk to the person. I really want to talk to the person that didn't make it. And I want to hear it. Chat. If you guys didn't make it, if you guys struggled to get in, if you guys you know thought you didn't make or thought EA held you back from making it, I would love to hear what you got to say because to me it is your fault. There is not a single person that 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 tried, I think, is good enough and didn't make it. And, and one of the biggest ones that I think about is Problem. You guys watch Problem. Hopefully you guys follow him on social media. Obviously, Problem hasn't been playing Madden pretty much at all. Like, you know, and, and he tried to qualify, got to number five on the Chargers in the last day and was sweating it out. Now, had he not make it, had he not made it, then it's 1,000% his fault. Like, it's as simple as that. Because you did not grind. You know? You know? And that, that's pretty much how I feel. You know? I just don't... And the chat said, I just don't have enough time to play how many games is qualified. One, I played 40 games. Master Gamer played two games. 
Big Gene, who is ahead of me on the leaderboards, tell you this, is 4-0, and he is third for the Eagles. <laughs> He's 4-0. Big Gene is 4-0, simple and plain. That's so, and he's ahead of me, who played 40 games. So that's not an excuse, really. Uh, it is pretty nuts. I think 50 games should be, I, I think it's over here sometimes, uh, I think 50 games is a good number. I really do, you know. But, and, and, and I had a buddy that probably played 200 games. Not me, my man, Proof, Proof is, we'll talk about Proof going into the Bears Club Series, but both of my buddies played over 200 games. If you don't make it playing over 200 games, you just didn't win enough. It's as simple as that, man. You just didn't win enough. Now, it is goofy. The leaderboard system is goofy. But if you get on there and you win enough games, you will be high enough. It's as simple as that. Yeah, yeah. The 4-0, 2-0, 3-0 is pretty nuts. You know, that's, that's pretty much, you know? Yeah, I don't I don't know how it worked. Now, I'll tell you, Gene is, Gene is 4-0, and I don't know if he beat the top four people. You know, I really don't understand. Nobody, and, and this goes back to last week we talked about this, is that nobody knows how it works. You know, nobody, we don't get told how it works. There's no spreadsheet that shows how it works. You get this many points from beating that person, this many points from beating said person. You lose this many points from beating that person. None of that works, you know, and we'd like a little more transparency as far as that's concerned. But, you know, yeah, club. Listen, I am so far off of the club series. You know, I'm like, I, I'm i off it. Like, at first, when it first happened and when it does happen, I remember... Everybody was at the Pro Bowl and everybody's representing the team. I said, man, this is cool. But for Madden tournaments and all this stuff, that's not it. I, I, I'm all the way off it, and and I'm not a fan of it anymore. You know, I feel like everybody looks for the easy way to get to the tournament, to win the games. Everybody looks for, let me find the easiest club, try to make some money and win the tournament. It's just, it's it's too easy to qualify. And honestly, part of it, I think they want a lot of people playing in MCS. You know, if it's the same 50 people, the, what's going to encourage little Johnny to continue to play in it? You know, if the same 50 people are going to keep winning it, why why would I play in it if I'm little Johnny? And I think that's ultimately part of their goal going forward, man. Uh, and it, I guess it's smart, you know, that if you have a business, I want more people doing it. You know, I want more people being part of it. I want more people engaging in that activity i want more people playing salary cap mode because we can be honest that the only people that play that mode are us that try to qualify really yeah and 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 this is so crazy say the chat this game is for little johnny and this is what i want to sell you back are video games not for little johnny is every video game made not for little johnny which video game is not made for the kids to play honestly even when we talk about Grand Theft Auto, which is probably the most, you know, violent, inappropriate game ever. I mean, at the end of the day, it's probably for kids. You know what I'm saying, chat? So let's let's all take a step backwards and remember that, you know? You know, and, and, and just so 18 plus games are not for Little Johnny, but dude, they are, you know? So let's 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 always remember that this is a video game, and video games are for kids. We see Fortnite having all the success as we are a day removed from the black hole disappearing and all that, you know. And and people always talk about how much success Fortnite has in the world. And I, let's let's kill Fortnite has success because little kids like this shit. That is the number one reason why it has success. Period. Little kids are engaged. Little kids from 6 years old to 16 year old, they're all engaged. A 13 year old kid won 5 million or 3 million, whatever the hell he won. 13 years old. Now we're getting close to the 13 year olds being tough and mad. The 16s are hell. The 16s, 17s, 15s, they're hell. You know? So let's not forget, let's not forget about what drives video games, what drives you know, the market for video games. It's kids, you know? And that's one of the problems Madden has is that kids don't play it because it's too damn hard. 
So yes, if I would make, I would try to make it a little easier so kids could play it. You know. Exactly, and that, and that's what Enzy Moore says. No one under eighteen plays Madden, and I agree. That's one of the biggest problems. I I'll sit in my Madden chat. I'm streaming Madden. I say age check. I don't see anybody under twenty years old. I, I barely see people. You know, people under twenty five years old. You know. You know, so the the fact that they Madden doesn't have these kids that are driving, you know, Twitch and driving views. Like I'm looking right now, and Nick Merckx has forty thousand people watching him. And I'll ask you guys this, chat: How many of those forty thousand are under fifteen years old? You know, I think those. I think those are. Um, that's a big deal in the gaming industry. Big deal, man. You know, and I'll tell you now, check now. Yeah, Madden is way more, it takes way more thinking and less, it's less nonstop action, you know. So for kids, it's not, it's not the move. So you guys talk about, yeah, they, uh, they do want more people engaged. They want more people engaged in the game in general. We talk about this, why it's easier, why the game gets easier. You get, there's no more rocket catching. There's no more nano blitzes. There's no more shit that separates me from little Johnny. The only thing that separates me from little Johnny is just thinking about the game, being good at the game. Really, there is no more. I can't just embarrass little Johnny. Like, you guys watched me play CFM yesterday against a sim player that really had no idea what he's doing. Now, I still blew him out. It was still 80 to goddamn zero, right? But I don't, I, I guess it's a bad example. But it was like I couldn't just nano blitz and sack him every damn time, you know? And, and, and to me, it is their goal, and if I had a game, it would be my goal to get more people engaged, too. Kind of like it's my goal to get more people engaged in the stream. How do I get more people to listen to the podcast? How many? How do I get more people to watch me play Madden? It's a way to engage people, and, and that's ultimately their goal as a business. So how can I get more people playing the MCS? Let's make fucking club series where we let everybody in the tournament. We pay everybody we can, you know, and... Now, Little Giants, oh, I can play an MCS. I can be like Problem. I can be like Kiv. You know? You know? So, and, and we'll see how far this, we'll see how far it goes as far as getting little kids to play. <sighs> I, when you talk so much and you don't breathe, like you, you lose oxygen, it makes you tired. Makes you yawn, really. It's hard to compete while being in college. And that's good. Like, and, and we talk about the competition, man. Listen, I don't want people in college competing. I don't want people with jobs competing. I don't want people with kids competing. You can't say, I want this game. I don't want the game for little Johnny, but then be cool being a part time player and competing. No. I want there to be an advantage for somebody like me who can play the game all day, who has dedicated their life to playing the game. I want an advantage. Yes, you can't complain and say, oh, it's so hard to be a pro, and then want to compete part-time. No. I feel like if you're part-time, you should get your ass kicked. And that's what happens. You know? Ice, what up, though? You know, I, I, listen, you guys talk about how hard it is to be a pro man player. Well, you know, it makes it hard if people that part-time can compete. Seriously. So that's why I'd be cool if the MCS was a minimum 500, you got to play 500 games or you can't make it. Man, I'm, I'm cool. How about you? If you have a job, if you have a career, God bless. God bless. You know? I want an advantage as a person that plays Madden all day. You know, I want that advantage. You know? It's not like it's not like you can make the NFL by playing football once every three days or working out once every three days or I'm in the NFL. You know? It's not like you can be a doctor by going to school for three years and saying, you know, I don't really need to rest. You know, I'll go to class on Tuesday. You know, I might check out class on Monday. You know? That, that's you got. If you want to put, like, listen, y'all want this to be a career, then then cater to the people that make it a career. You know, not to fucking D D Dwayne that comes home and plays ten games a week. 
Not even. Plays they plays every other day, plays one game, you know, then gets on Fortnite. Yeah, I don't want him to compete. For real. So that that's a big deal to me. I hate when people say I don't have time to compete. You know, I I don't have time to be a dentist. You know, I don't have time to be a dentist. I can't be a dentist. You know, I don't have time to work out and go to the NFL. I don't because I play Madden. That's part of what you do. That's the whole part of life. This is what you do. You know, damn, I'm a mailman. I got I, I got to deliver my mail every day. You know, I can't play Madden. Well, God damn, you shouldn't have been a fucking mailman. You know? Yeah, and, and, and because you can play too, that hurts me. That hurts the person. You know what I'm saying? That hurts the person that gets to play all day, you know, because they let people go 3-0 and and compete because we, that's what we talk about. They want the little Johnny to play. They want Dwayne to play. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's the first. That's the first bazooka name that came to mind was Dwayne. <laughs> I don't know why. I just thought bazooka. I thought Dwayne. That's just for, I don't know. I thought I was. I was. I was talking fast. I thought bazooka and the name Dwayne was like. That just like it was it. You know what I'm saying? Chad, Chad is kind of what's the best bazooka names? Chad, Chad is kind, Chad, Chad is kind of bazooka. Yes, Gene works seventy to ninety hours a week, and he qualified for club series. So all you guys complaining and booka booka do boo 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 boo, and I don't want Gene. I don't want Big Gene competing. How you work that much and can compete with me? And can qualify over hell no. Timmy, Jacob, Harold, Marcus, <laughs> little yo, Marcus does sound newbie. <laughs> Marcus, <laughs> that dude at C man with a sub. Thank you, I appreciate it, man. Marcus, Bazooka, Jake. We all know a dumb. I know a dumbass Marcus. Let me tell you that. But he's good at video games, though, so it's tough. The first Marcus I think of is Mark Dog. Like when you think Mark Dog is the first Marcus I think of. Y'all all know, y'all all know, and he, Mark Dog is the definition is of a clown. And I'm telling you, but that's the first Marcus I think of. Well, Christopher is a very, you got listen. Name me somebody named Christopher that's not good at Madden. Period. You know what I'm saying. Well, everybody, listen, everybody knows a dumbass Marcus. Marcus might be the name now. They want Marcus competing. You know? Y'all want mailmen and janitors and custodians competing, man. That's not, not how it goes. I want people that dedicate, the, you know, what they do to play Madden to be the ones competing. You know, but that that's just a little thing. We talk about the leaderboards every week. And and this is crazy. We've had these conversations literally in Orlando, in the EA meeting, that big ass with the ball. We've had these same exact talks. Nobody gives a shit. They have their own agenda. That's not our agenda. And I've accepted that as a human being, you know? I'm glad I'm to the point where, you know, you guys will listen to me regardless. You know, but that's cool, man. But I don't want to talk about the leaderboards. Let's talk about these. Let's talk about these club standings. Now, Jaybird sent me Jaybird, the statistician for the Needed Podcast and the best runner in the history of Madden, sent me a spreadsheet. You know, now me. I was gonna look at the. I don't listen. This shit hurts my eyes. 
Um, I will tell you this. Let's take a look, chat. I don't know why these are the colors we chose to put up here. Let's zoom in. Here we go. Boom. And we can start here in the NFC East. Now, there's a lot of names here, uh, and these aren't necessarily the best names. Now, I will tell you, I don't really like doing this because there's a lot of people that aren't on these lists. And if we know anything about Madden 20s, people not on the list can definitely pop. You know? So for me, for me, I don't really know. Um, I don't really know one. One, I feel like I'm missing clubs here. I'm missing. This is just the NFC. Where, where the hell is the AFC? Maybe I didn't get the AFC. I don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is this is nuts. All right, all right. We got tabs and shit. My bad. All right, woo. Now, all right. We have the Cowboys. We have Fancy Carry, Short Texas Goon, who's always a tricky player to play. V Tech, uh, War Daddy, the Defending Chiefs Club. I, I just don't understand you fuckers. I really don't. How do you win a club and then say you know I'm doing another club? Like this is this shit is just. People just have no pride. They have no, like, fight. That's just fucking nuts. Like, what? Why would you say, you know, I'm going to do the Cowboys now? Unless he was a Cowboys fan and did. I just don't understand. This is why this shit is. D Listen. Like, you know, it's just kind of, it's kind of nuts. This is why I hate clubs here. Because people just, like, choose their path. And they're just all people all over the place. You know, I, I really just don't... I don't know. I hate this club series shit at this point. But, uh... Fancy, uh... my He's my center on the 2K team. So, I, I gotta pick Fancy. I don't know how Kerry... Bro, if Kerry don't win this year, bro, he gotta hang it up, bro. Like, dead ass, he gotta hang it up. But like I said, anybody can run the ball. You know what I'm saying? People really have no... People have no... Uh, everybody just all over the place, you know? Uh, well, if it was regional, uh, the, the Northeast would be the best. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably pick Fancy out of the cow. Obviously, I don't know. I haven't played really any of these dudes. I played Fancy early in the year. Was, uh, you know. Now we have the Eagles. I'm always going to pick myself over these little, ki these little kids, these little nerd kids, which are good kids. But they're nerd kids, you know. I love them, but they're nerd kids, you know. I don't know who Doggy is. Who the hell is Doggy? He might pop up. Yeah, Northeast would dominate the rest of Madden. You know, they're they're nerd kids. I mean, they're really good. You know, but yeah, I mean, you got two guys that Figgy Figgy might as well wear glasses. He might as well wear glasses at this point. But I will say, we I mean, the Eagles probably have the the toughest club. I mean, I, I really I I walk through these and tell y'all which one. You know. The Giants have Bronco, Evil O, Hollywood, Legend 804. He got tired of playing Ghost Madden and went to the Giants. Red Eye G. Is this suspect? Who is suspect? Is this DNA suspect? He's a LOB dude? Jesus Christ. That means he's fucking blind. Jesus Christ. Ain't nobody in LOB with eyes. And y'all don't tell me, Clef, you don't got no fucking eyes either. Nobody in LOB has a fucking eye. Like an eye at all. Like, it's just, who? No, it runs a bunch? Okay, good. They bring that. Good. Um. 
This has, I don't know who Printless is. I don't really know Noah either. But I know everybody else on this list. And it's pretty decent. I mean, V. this is actually really pretty decent. Really. Because you know Joke is going to play all Evil O games. So that's pretty much Joke, right? So we got Joke here. Bronco, who's going to run the ball and just has been around forever, right? So if we got Joke, Hollywood. I don't. I haven't heard Hollywood. Normally I hit up Hollywood every couple months, see how he's doing. I haven't really talked to him. So we got Joke, Hollywood, Legend, who's going to be, he going to be a tough out. These two guys that are Jay Bird put on this list for some reason. I don't know who they are. But if Jay Bird put them on the list, they're probably pretty decent. Red Eye G is always a pain. Like, he's all, he's going to have an idea. And then we got DNA Suspect and VY. So that's a tough, that's a tough little, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty tough. So, I don't know. But then we got Redskins, Primetime 50G, A dot. Bam. We got ghosts. I'm going to be honest. I mean, honestly, this is really... Maybe Ghost doesn't win this year, chat. Maybe he doesn't win this year. Because I see these like these guys like Skins and Techers and Run Dot. And, I mean, 50... Like, this is, this is probably the toughest Redskins has been in a while. You know? And, and the way the game is, man, Ghost's going to have to... Um, Ghost gonna have to fight through all these runners, and this is this is tough for the Redskins. He got a lot of runners in here, a lot of dudes that do some weird shit. Bro, I flooded the shit out of Comfy Door last time I played him. All y'all can suck a dick sideways. Now, all right, so the Redskins is gonna be tough. Now we get over here to the Bears, and I will tell you right now, my man GS Roadmaster is gonna win this. Now, I love Kane's. Kane's a good friend of mine. CJ's a good kid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, stiff Madden champion. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to go away from a belt, but Proof is mine. Proof is my guy. I will always ride with Proof. You know what I'm saying? I like his scheme. His scheme is unlike any other scheme. If y'all have played him, he probably beat you the first time. You know what I'm saying? So, there's that. I like GS Roadmaster. Uh, but not for Kane's is the two time defender, two time. But CJ's a good player, man. So that's gonna be BG fam. Uh I, I've never really watched BG play. Chat, get where what's BG's skill level? Like, is he like a make a run in a tournament? You know, that type of level player. I always thought he was like the new Siwoo. That's how I thought he was like the new Siwoo on Twitch. That's what I thought. I, I, yeah, I really I really haven't really watched him play. He's 3 out of 10, so he's not that tough. All right, BG is an elite weekend league player. He's better than Wu? Is BG better than Wu? Wu is ass. Now, I'm, I'm going to be the first one to tell y'all that, I you know, that somebody sucks. I really don't know. What was ass? Taylor Gang is the only one I think Wu was pretty good. Now, all right, so this is, like I said, I like my man GS Roadmaster. Stiff, Stiff Meister, dude. What the, chat, can we take it? What the fuck happened to Stiff Meister? Holy shit, Stiff, man, I hope you out there, bro. Bro, Stiff was on top of the world. Like dead ass. Yo, Stiff was on top of the world in Madden. I don't know what happened to Stiff, man. I really don't. No, but Stiff was Stiff was like a tough streamer in Madden. Like when I first started Madden 16, Stiff was like one of the biggest streamers. He really was. Dead ass. Stiff not top five in this. I'll tell you right now, proof of whoop Stiff ass. No, so he not even in here. No, but he was actually, but he was a streamer. Like he it's not even about y'all being good at Madden, but. I don't know. I don't know what happened to my man. Shout out Stiff. Hope you in here. You know you my guy. But god damn. I guess he just really don't like this shit anymore. Really. Roadmaster Pops. Roadmaster Master Pops. Uh, that's what I'm trying to tell people. Pete, chat. Let me tell y'all something, man. I be trying to tell my homies to stream. And this is what they say. Oh, well, it's easier. You got a belt, so that made you. And that shit don't make you nothing. It don't. It don't. 
it makes people talk about you for one week, not even like one, three days, one weekend. They'll talk about you. That's it. The rest is about the time and energy that you put in. That's it. Proof is proof is uh yeah proof is the man bro I'm trying to tell y'all I don't need no damn a belt don't make you shit as far as you mean streaming and stuff like that I mean it helps for sure all right where we at oh did we go to lions okay we did we didn't do the lions okay lions I will be honest is this prodigy prodigy my man Mike Ward and him McKinley status my man Cannon is right here number five is this the real Jag in the list. Is this the real Jag? I don't know. Who, who's Casey? Revenge Casey? Who's Casey? Oh, Jag. What the fuck list is this then? Yo, Jay Bird, you sent me a list with a bunch of people that didn't qualify, dude. Anybody can stream. Anybody can fucking stream. Any single person can stream. I, I believe that wholeheartedly. Y'all might suck at it. Like, Bugs is kind of fucking boring. Like, let's um, let me, let's, let's rewrap this about streaming. Like, anybody can do it, especially in Madden. It's the easiest game to stream. Why? Because there's not that many fucking people watching. So if you get five viewers, you popping up on the front page of Madden. Simple as that. There are people that have never won shit that stream, and they're pretty damn de decent at it. So I hate that shit. People, cause, cause people make it seem like I want a belt. That's the only reason I'm successful with this shit, and that's simply not true. I hate, I hate that shit. Oh, you want a belt? So that's the man. No, simple as that. No, the belt do not make you nothing. Seriously, it doesn't. It doesn't make people watch you. It fucking doesn't. No. It's not like this. Yo, yeah, people, I mean, listen. And this what makes me mad is that, yo, the belt, if we talk about stuff, the belt makes you, it, it's just not how it works. It's not. My man user in the chat, man, what's up, man? Dead ass, man. Y'all are so lost when it comes to streaming. People make so many fucking excuses. Chat, come back here. People make so many excuses for everything they do in life. Everything that doesn't go their way, there's an excuse. There's a reason why this guy got it and they don't. It's never, I can do more. It's, oh, he has this. He has that. It's easier for him. I have this holding me back. This is the reason I can't. I can't. I can't. The whole world is just straight pussy. Every single person that makes excuses is pussy. Plug your fucking Xbox up and stream, dude. And tell a joke. Be funny. Now, honestly, if you're not funny, you're not entertaining, then God bless. Maybe streaming's not for you. Maybe you can't stream. But I will tell you right now, winning man games and winning a belt is not going to make people watch your stream. Period. It's not. Journey, for example. Fucking Journey, probably top three man player ever already. He's fucking unreal. Journey's another boring fucking person. Period. Journey's unreal in Madden. You know what I'm saying? There he is. Boring as shit. Journey bugs, they're the perfect combo. Same person. Journey might be the Albanian bugs. You know me. Nah, I know. Now that I think about it, Journey, Journey low key, Journey low key over bugs. The Albanian bugs. I just, I just honestly, from talking with my friends, uh, I hate when people say, oh, oh, you need a belt. The belt makes you know. No, that's not true, man. Honestly, the belt don't make, the belt doesn't make somebody who they are as far as streaming. It doesn't, honestly. What up, though? That's a, what up, though? I, I got, I'm, listen, I'm trusting this Jay Bird list. And we're on the lines here. Um, I assume this is Prodigy, McKinley, and Cannon. They're they, they all going to be a pain in the ass in this game.
Okay. Statistics. All right. Statistics show that winning a belt help people watch your stream. Okay. This list is wrong. Bro, I'm looking at this list, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Is Jay Bird, is this, is this list of L? <laughs> Casanetto. <laughs> Casanetto. <laughs> Wow, y'all killing my list, man. All right, well, I'm staying on this list. Stop talking about the list. We're going to talk about it. If somebody didn't qualify, y'all just tell me in the chat. So we go to Lions. I mean, Prodigy probably the favorite, but last time, Prodigy just run. Everybody just fucking runs. Runs, run, 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 run. I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now, chat. Who want, a runner will not win this tournament. Boom. Heard it here first. It will be one of the five passers alive. They will win this tournament. And I will go, I will die on that hill. I will die on that hill. A runner will not win this tournament. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Not a chance. I'm telling y'all, I will die on that hill. A runner does not win this tournament. Period. Anyway, all right. The Packers. I heard Drag wasn't playing. I don't know. But on this list, Scheme is a sneaky name on this list. Chase is on this list. Maybe he could pop up. Drag if Drag's on this list, he's gonna fight. But this is this is uh, if I'm looking at this, one of the sweeter clubs. Look, even Mo said everyone that's smart will be pet. Mo probably just lying because he's gonna go Jim Brown some people in the face. But I honestly don't think a winner, a runner wins this. Um, Cass and Edel might be. <laughs> Who the hell is Cass and Edel? Is he L O B? Is Cass and Edel L O B? Er listen, this is how this is how you, listen, chat. Let me tell you something. If you don't know who these people are, or somebody, they're J Jay Bird's cousin or some shit. Jay Bird's cousin. Oh, when all day, when all day is Lord Zan. Zan is on this list. Zan did the, Dan, Zan didn't do the Bears. Is this the real Zan? Or is this a different Zan? Oh, so Zan isn't on the list, but he picked a pack. That's different. That, that see, this is Zan. This is this is why this is the first L that you took. The biggest Packers fan or the biggest Bears fan I know did the Packers. What? That's like me saying, you know, I want to represent the Cowboys. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's go on to the Vikings. Oh, the Packers. Uh, let's see. All right. Where we at? All right. Let's go to the Vikings. Okay. No, Zan. That's that's bad. Vikings. Now, here we go. Uh, the Vikings want to come down to between Strafing and Wint Goat. Strafing got to be the favorite. This is probably one of the... Weaker. Ah, uh, Six Sense made a pretty decent run in something last year. Last chance. So yeah, yeah. So he he came back on the scene. Hit a Brinks. I don't know. Hit a, uh, that's FMB Brinks. Is that who this is? Went go then qua. All right. Strafing's gonna win the Vikings. We we'll move on. Okay. Buccaneers. Clef is gonna win that. Thanks for everybody participating in that one. Falcons. The King. Uh, listen. Oh man, I will tell you this right now, chat. All right, but Jay Wall, listen, load up, load, load up. Clef don't win. Clef don't win. Clef, Clef wins. Fucking Bucks sleeping. But anyway, okay. So we got Bugs and the King. Now I will tell you this. Now I, I, listen, Bugs versus the King would be an epic matchup. It would be a slobber knocker. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's because I bust Boogs at bowl pause. Bust Boogs balls, you know what I'm saying? Because he's ass and he lets us down as a group all the damn time. You know what I'm saying? 
I don't like being let down. You know what I'm saying? This list is not bootleg. Yeah. <laughs> Where is Bruce Leroy? <laughs> Yo. All right. Now we hit. But now Falcons. I mean, Bulls. I got. Look, Zay is here. He's a runner. Safa's here. Who is Prime? I don't know who Prime is. Envy. The, all right. So Bulls got two runners and Safa. I don't know how Safa playing now, but you know what I'm saying? But I like Bugs. Bugs not if Bugs ain't losing in that club. Now let's move on. Can I just click this and go over one? That'd be tough. Hey, okay. We got Bruce Leroy Panthers. I mean, one great user in mind. So nobody else decided I want to do the Panthers. That's it. It's just this is Manu's club. And Manu was just fucking unbeatable, huh? Like we just everybody he's the most unbeatable player in the fucking world, huh? God damn it. Now we go to the Saints. This is Jay Bird list. I mean, this Saints has a thousand fucking people on it. I can't even put all the like How do Saints have four hundred people? Other other clubs have four people. Eagles had four people. My man got, like, bro, Vilma? <laughs> Vilma hasn't played Madden in six years. Young Scro? Yo, you just put all, you put all the, all the C4 people on here? Jesus Christ. Tissue? Yo, shout out to Tissue. L-O-B Tissue. <laughs> what? J Bird used the weekend league standings. Yo. <laughs> Tissue. Ryland. Nick Hacko. G Naz. Yo, shout out. J Orland. Yo. Here's what I found about NASDAQ from Reuters. Hey, look. Free Alexa knows. Financial services firm focused on East Europe and Central Asia is considering the Moscow listing. After the shares began trading on the Yo, y'all not going to kill my man Jaybird, bro. That's what we're not going to do. All right. Alexa going off. NASDAQ. Echo, stop. Man, this was going on. I call her Echo because it's easier It's easier to say than Alexa. Yeah, he does. I know Koik. I mean, Allen's in here. Is Allen playing Madden? Is, or is he just playing Madden, if that makes sense? Because I feel like Allen's just been playing Madden the last couple years. He's been on bullshit. No, I like... Uh, yo, I might like uh, High Shugs. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's move on. Niners. Niners is kind of stacked with a bunch of fucking bazookas. If that makes sense. Like, this is a bazooka battle. No, this is it's not bazooka. It's like this is like not bazookas, but like this is like bazookas when they graduate bazooka school. Like that next level of bazookas. You know what I'm saying? It's like the next it's like it's like the try hard bazookas right here. That's what this is right here. This this is the group. This is five fucking people that think they're like belt winner type players. You know what I'm saying right here? They but but they're still in bazooka land. Like they haven't graduated bazooka school yet. But that being said, I'm going with my man Trey. And saying, Chad, do y'all understand that this is like a bazooka? <laughs> it's like, it's like these fuckers. I would never want any of these. Like, if I had to play a tournament, I wouldn't want to play any of these fuckers. Like, Jesus Christ. But these are the type of guys right here, Chad. No dead ass. These are type that are good, but they are the type if you just sit, if you just don't beat yourself, you will win every time. All five of these guys, literally, just 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 play regular. Don't make a mistake, and you will win every single game, one thousand percent. The all five of these guys will lose the game. They will find a way to lose the game, one thousand percent. If Juan is going to give up five onside kicks, Niners going to chuck some shit to Randy Moss and get mad when he get picked off. Jay Bird is going. Jay Bird is going. Jay Bird. 
Trey is going to, he think he, he going to throw some dumbass pick. And, and Trey Kings, like, he just stop a run. Listen, if I was in this club, I'd have three enforcers. Trey, I, no, I got, I got Trey. Trey in one. I don't know. This is a chat that has, this is a guy. Listen, when I say buckle up for slobber knockers, this is what the hell I'm talking about. Like, this is slobber knocker central right here, chat. Slobber knocker central. Like, what? <laughs> Jay Bird, I'm telling you. I would, this is must see. Yo, this is must see TV. And this is what they're going to say. I don't want to stream, I don't want to give my opponent an advantage. We're not gonna see none of these games. I don't. I Jay Bird's gonna say I don't want to give my. You know my new fucking stretches. It goes to the left and the right at the same time. I can't show anybody that. Fucking weirdos, dude. All right. Dead ass, man. <laughs> can't take. Yo, can't deal with these fucking kids, man. I swear to God. And then y'all complain. Mad. This is what they do. Then they say shit like that. They say, oh, I can't stream. I, I don't want to stream and give my opponent an advantage. And then they complain. Why is Madden not big? Well, how can we grow Madden? Oh, my gosh. My stretch is out for the world to see. That's not Jay Bird voice, though. No, that ass, that's not. That, that's like just any voice. That's like all of y'all voice at the same time. It wasn't Jay Bird voice. Jay Bird voice is not that. Now, I didn't want y'all to think that was Jay Bird voice. Jay has a stretch from, from field goal block. <laughs> That's not the Jay Bird voice. So I'm telling y'all. But anyway, Cardinals. Ha, ah, K Mac versus T Davis. I'm, I, ooh, Volterax down here. Ooh, was Volterax playing the game? I haven't seen a lot of the Volt Man. The Fox. <laughs> Watch out for the Fox. Not the Fox. The Fox. <laughs> Yo, get, who the fuck is Jelly? Am I bad for having Jelly? Hold on, wait. Am I? <laughs> Hold on. Who is Jelly? <laughs> L.O.B. Jelly. Yo. L.O.B. Jelly. <laughs> Moe's, I, I haven't heard from Vault. Norm, normally, Skimbo tell me what Vault doing and how he playing. I really don't know. But, you know, he's a PS4 guy. So, Vault is always sneaky. But NT Davis versus K-Mac, I mean, that's going to be, that's going that's a passer versus a runner this year. You know, I don't know. Maybe T. Davis is a passer. But I don't know. I haven't seen much of them. Obviously, we all see K-Mac play. But haven't seen T. Davis too much. Just played him in the CFM. CFM is tough to judge somebody because they're playing with what they got. Uh, and it plays a little bit different. Um, Volterax obviously is always going to be tough. Um, but this is a, this is a, I mean obviously, I think a passer is going to win, and so I'm definitely vote for K Mac here. But we say K Mac or Volt wins, but T Davis did win it last year. He's a good, experienced player. On to the Rams, Beast Mode Mac. Now Beast Mode's not going to win shit. Not going to win shit. I'll tell you that right now, from the depth of my heart, he's not going to win shit. Period. Not going to win shit. And Beast Mode's a good kid, but he's not going to win shit. Nothing. He's not. He's not going to win this club. I like I like Truzy. It's that crazy. I like Truzy over Beast Mode. Truzy. Give me Truzy. There's no way. There's no way. Bro, Beast Mode, like the biggest Chiefs fan in the world. Well, actually, he didn't win last year, so he got popped. Damn. So I thought I was I was going in. But I would never. Listen. I will lose a thousand times before I run to another. Ooh, that shit bothers me. I don't know. I don't know. That shit bothers me. That shit bothers me. I don't know. It just bothers, it just bothers me. And then he ducked Mo. Mo is the most unduckable person ever. No. But then we got Beast Mo. Go to Malu. And then the worst part was, 
if you cap back and forth, this is my point. If you cap back and forth, you can't duck. All right, hold on. Join the channel. Mo, join the channel. I'm just like, bro, Beast Mode, man, I fuck with Beast Mode, but man, it's something about being a competitor. Like, it's something about being a competitor that I just like, bro, like, Nene is really good, dude. He fucked me up the two times we played in, uh, in, uh, CFM. I think he's always been sneaky good, honestly. I don't know. It's something, like, bro. It's, I don't know. It's something about, like, you gonna have to whoop my ass. Yo, you gonna have to, listen. I'm about to lose 10 times before I leave. You. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, what's the word? You know what makes this whole thing worse about Beast Mode Ducking? What's that? He got Lil Tony on. What does that mean? He brought, Lil Tony came into Chiefs Club after Beast Mode Duck. Like, I got you, Beast Mode, don't worry. Oh, so he had like a little fighter? A little, you mean? Yeah, he got a little fighter. How, how scary is that? I mean, it's pretty wild. I'm, I mean, not to mention you just setting your friends up for failure. I mean, this is true. Now, now I will tell you. See, you can't cap back and forth and then duck. You know? Now, I don't have a problem with ducking. Yeah, you just can't say nothing. Yeah, you just can't say nothing then. You know, you mm -hmm. can't cap and then duck. It's one or the other. Now, if you're going to, if you're going to cap, you got to play. But if, you can duck and not cap like, damn, that guy's too good. I want to try to make some money. That's okay. God bless him. But man, how am I? How am I the most unduckable person? I, I'm just. I'm, it's not that. I'm just saying. I don't think anybody's duckable. Who the hell is duckable? I don't Me? know. You seen her first hand? No. I'm, first hand. See, no. Nah, you you just in his head too much. I don't. And that and that's a part of the game that I will never lose. I might I might lose, but you won't get in my head. And, you don't gotta worry. I'm doing Patriots Club for the rest of the years. Yeah, Patriots. Um, all of them. For who? For what? Why? Yeah. You know why. Because uh, you want to be Mike? Yeah. Why? I don't fuck with Mike. Oh, gee, see? Okay. Nah, that's... Gotta be some honesty around this piece. That's, that's J-Bird's... Uh, that's uh, not J-Bird. J-Walls. That's J-Walls Club. So, I mean, shit. All right, well. I said? But no, but it's one it thing. You would have to beat me five years in a row for me to think about leaving. Like, be like, ah, oh, this guy's too much. <laughs> I, we would have to be five years I in a row. I just can't believe... I thought it was just, it just made it, I can't believe, like, Lil Tony went, came and did the, the Chiefs, though. Like, that was, like. Yeah, that was a little wild. That that would make me feel some type of way. Like, if I ducked some shit, but then my homie was like, no, nah, I could beat him. I'm like, what? This is not tag team wrestling. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. So, Lil Tony signed up for Chiefs. Beast Mode left, and then his man said, y'all got it. I'm going to handle this. Jeez. Wild. And I feel like when you go into something, like when you go into something ducking people and trying to find the easy way out, you're going to slip up. You're not, you don't have the right attitude, you know? But you know, that's how it goes. No, Gene, once Mo said he was doing Chiefs, he didn't do Chiefs no more. But we got Beast Mode, and then we'll talk about that. That's all. And this, that pretty much just goes to... That pretty much to me goes to competitive, like the way you feel, like competitively, like how do I, I want to, you know, just how it is. You know what I'm saying, not, I, I don't even know how to explain it, man. I really don't. Like, and, and people are, people are different, like competition wise. I'm not gonna tell you I'm the most competitive person, but man, I wouldn't even feel right ducking some shit, like. I really would. That that would just wouldn't sit right with me, like. It was, it was all I would think about, honestly. It's all I would think about. Even if I won, like, say I ducked, but then I won Rams. It, all I would think about is that I ducked, really. I don't know. It's just, uh, that's just me. But anyway, we'll see. I, Truzy, uh, Truzy might pop up finally once in his life. You know, we talked about Truzy a lot. Saint, Saint, is this Saint that won M, uh, Friday Night Football? Yeah, hey. But I, I do think Nene is really good at the game. I think Nene is probably one of the underrated players because y'all don't hear about him or anything, or he don't really talk. He's not loud, obnoxious. I really think Nene's underrated. Last time I played him twice in CFM, and he popped me. So and he I, just I, it's hard to judge anybody from CFM because it's such a different mode, such different players and everything. And it, it, it's hard to judge, but I mean he he played really good. I think he's really good. 
So then we gotta go to Seahawks. Hopefully, I mean this is this is I mean, as much as I want to see D. Crawford's Kiv again, I Killer Mike is still here. The Kiv Killer. Kiv gotta beat Killer Mike ten times in a row for Killer Mike not to be the Kiv Killer. That, that he gotta win. T- Kiv gotta win ten times in a row. And the worst part about Kiv, Kiv gonna win ten times in a row, and we still gonna talk about them fourth downs. That's the problem with being good. Like when you like it's like LeBron. LeBron wins all the goddamn time, right? But we gonna remember when he lost to Dirk. You know what I'm saying? Not that let's relax. Not that Kiv is LeBron. Let's relax. You know what I'm saying? Like that ass. He gotta win. And and, and and Mo, even if he wins 20 times in a row, he's still gonna think about Killer Mike. You know what I'm saying? The Kiv the Kiv Killer. The Kiva. <laughs> Tell you. Who's Dan? Who, oh, D. Croft? No, I'm just talking about Kiv. No, I want to see uh, D. Croft versus Kiv. I mean, listen. D. Croft is a passer. D. Croft is, he not a surgeon, but he, he D. Croft is probably like, he, he's he's not a nurse, you know, like, Killer Mike is kind of nursey with his surgeon. He like, Killer Mike is like, he's like the surgeon that when the Mexicans, when the immigrants come in, they let Killer Mike go be a surgeon, put his fourth and 20 dots out there and try. Because I don't know, one thing about What's crazy about um now nah, uh, SC been around a while I'm I'm kind of sleeping on him I'm, I love you SC I'm I mean he's been around a while he's been a good player he's tough to play but I'm sleeping on him he's not a win the club type of player now yeah that's what I'm saying now but Killer Mike listen let me let me paint a picture for you guys real quick now I been doing a lot of tree work and landscape and stuff you work with a lot of illegal you know Mexicans and Spanish people and Guatemalans and from you know Nicaragua and Colombia and all people from all over in Latin America South America and they're and they're illegal right so now I will paint this picture because a lot of you guys really not haven't been in this situation now what happens is okay so you're out there working now all of a sudden you know Tomas breaks his breaks his arm right so you bring Tomas with his broken ass arm. Now, listen, you bring Tomas with his broken ass arm into the hospital. Now, they don't let, you know, House do the surgery on Tomas. Tomas is essentially, now this happens. I swear to God, this happens. This is like practice. They bring it, and this is like for the practice for the, for the, for the new doctors in school. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't let the best doctors, they don't give a shit about Tomas. They let little Brian that hasn't even graduated, you know, graduate school operate on Tomas. So Tomas gets the bullshit doctor that's just learning stuff to stitch his arm back together. Now, I talk about that because that's kind of what Killer Mike is, the way he be out there throwing around, uh, throwing, the way he be out there putting routes out there. He's kind of like the doctor that's just graduated high school and he's going, he's trying to become a doctor. D. Croft is kind of like he might be in his registry. A residency. I'm sorry. That's D. Croft might be there. You know what I'm saying? D. Croft get in his residency. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't. How they don't bring in house to be to, to operate on Tomas. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious. They lab on exactly, Kratobin. Tomas said they lab. Like, they're like, yo, damn, his arm really broken. Let me see if I just put a stitch right here. Will his arm be back together? I'm saying, y'all understand what I'm saying? They lab on Tomas, period. All right. Now, hopefully the AFC list is better than the NFC list. Buffalo Rob. Hellraiser. L-O-B Hellraiser. <laughs> Point spread. Kwani. Stevie J. Stevie J, Kwani, Point Spread, Chaos, Buffalo Rob, and L.O.B. Hellraiser. Hellraiser? How's my man's name is Hellraiser? Why is his name Hellraiser? All right, this... Can I delete? Can I delete Hellraiser? My bad, Hellraiser. If you in here, I love you, bro. You know what I'm saying? But this is kind of tough. I'm just playing. I don't, I don't know who Hellraiser is. I really don't understand the hell. But um, Stevie J, Kwani, po- Chaos, Point Spread. Uh, Kwani, Kwani, once again, on my Pro-Am team, I got to pick him. But he's been t- Kwani will tell you he's the best ever. 
Big Bully is kind of, I'll tell you, Nini is tough. Uh, I, the other guys, I don't know so much, but I, listen, I'll I down the hill that I think Nini is good at the game. But then, the worst thing, he'd be losing to people that I think suck. I don't understand how Madden works. I don't know. But like I said, I, I got to go Quine. Stevie J, it's going to be tough. Any game, I don't know. The one thing about runners, like Stevie J is a runner, right? But they made everybody be able to run now. So maybe Stevie J isn't that much better than the next runner. You know, back when people didn't really run and he was running, he was really good at running, you know? And I played Chaos the other day in Weekend League, and I d just couldn't stop one play out of split close. I'm just that ass. Bills is tough. No, I mean, I, I, I got to pick Kwani. He's my, he's my pro-am teammate. Yeah, I don't understand. But anyway, Dolphins. I mean, Blocky. Master Gamer. It's Dolph. That boy Dirty. I mean, Blocky versus Master. Once again, I don't know if we'll ever watch that game. I mean, Master's got to be like... I don't know what the hell Master's doing on Madden, but God damn, I don't even want to look at it. Like, I don't even want to look at it. I don't even want to, like... See Master Gamer play Madden. I really, I really don't. But that's gonna be Blacky versus Master Gamer. Gonna be must see TV. But Master Gamer's probably running stretch out of shotgun or some shit. All right. I'm telling you that told my shit is real. If you, if y'all actually went outside and got jobs, you fucking little seventeen year olds, you would experience some shit like that. Spoiled ass little kids. Jets, we got lights. Or no, is lights playing? We got T Timors and Jets. Oh, this is kind of low. This is a little tough. This is a little tough. <clears throat> yeah, Masters definitely been looking at Madden 08 playbooks. You know, I really, I really wish we had more, more variety in the playbooks. You know, I just think the, you know, I want to be able to audible to a strong double flex wing look. When my opponent comes out in the four down lineman look, you know, I think that would really add to some of the creativity to Madden. Like, you don't get the fuck out of here. Double sh shut the fuck up. I'm 34 years old, bro. You're really the problem with the community. Like, one day you want privilege. One day you don't, one day you talk sh as shit about everybody, everybody, one day you, not like you're a part of the reason why people don't fucking want to play the game or try to be part of the community. This is why your relationship with EA is one of the worst. Damn, that's really Skimbo Lurk account, bro. Y'all really, yo, y'all really, y'all really let Skimbo put a lurk. Yeah, Skimbo got to get off the Lurk account, bro. And you know what's crazy? That's how it's really Skimbo, you know what I'm saying? That's his, that's his Lurk right there, you know what I'm saying? Snapped on me. Like, damn, Life Thief? That's crazy, bro. Like, bro. And it's crazy because y'all know it's Skimbo because the real Skimbo not in here. <laughs> like, I'm telling y'all. That's crazy, man. It be your own homies. Double shot. <laughs> Yo. Dude, extra sassy. Deserved. That's crazy. Skimbo really not in here. Skimbo really not in here. <laughs> Yo. Double shot. <laughs> Yo, what's funny? What's really funny is, boy is really mad. Like, he was typing that paragraph mad as shit. Like, he was typing that paragraph like, listen, chat. He hurt the shit out of his keyboard making all them errors. God damn it. I'm going to I'm gonna give W a piece of my knowledge. I'm going to give him. Listen, he's going to be hurt by this paragraph. God damn it. He's cooling down now, too. Look, he's cooling down. He's catching his breath right now because he hasn't said nothing in a while. Or another paragraph. Oh, there it is. Oh, he's driving? You did that while you were driving, Life Thief? Yo, you typed that whole paragraph driving? Listen, chat. Wear a seatbelt. That's all I learned from this man. Wear a seatbelt. Because honestly, you could be the best driver, but you could also have Life Thief, who's in a goddamn Twitch chat, airing out me. Driving right next to you. Wear a seatbelt. That's all. Listen, wear a seatbelt.
That's all I learned. That's crazy. Pull over. Do something. Wear a speedboat. Yo, why is this shit popping up on my stream so much, though? Like, I can't even read what you guys are saying because I just see this paragraph. And YouTube, if you guys don't watch this podcast live Tuesday nights, twitch.tv slash dub dot. I can't even see it. All I see is some kid cussing me out. But anyway, let's get back to this. Let's get back to the Jets. We got the African, the African, you know, giant AKG. We got Evil Ken. I mean, one of the triple old, triple old, triple OGs of Madden. Ice, one of the young, snotty, spoiled brats of Madden. Lights, another another OG. Mayo, never really been impressed with this person. Um, and then Timor. Timor is going to be a tough out. AKG is going to be a tough out. Ken is going to be a tough out. Ice, this is a good club. Honestly, chat, let me know what you guys think about this one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is. <laughs> F, star, 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 star. Why are we moving on, bro? You know what I'm saying? What do you guys think about the Jets? I, I, I want to I wanna say this might be AKG time to pop up. I think T. Moore is sneaky, too. Now, Ice won back-to-back -back years, I believe. I might be tripping, but I think I'm right. T. Moore might pop up, but this might be AKG year here, chat. I, I think T. Moore is definitely the sneaky pick right here, though, honestly. T. Moore over AKG? Where is my man? Hey, hey, Life Thief, hop into Discord, bro. Life thief, man. Listen, you got Skype or something? I want to talk to you, man, because I'm I'm upset that I, like, life thief. I'm upset that I hurt you this much, honestly. All right, let's go ahead over here to the Patriots. We got Cecil, Ethan, good guy right there. Jordan is bomb. Skimbo, this guy right here, Jordan. If you're in the chat, Skimbo is scared to fucking death of you. Like, to death of this guy right here. Jordan. Not Jordan. Jordan. I'm telling you that this guy... Oh, he didn't qualify? All right, there you go, Skimbo. Good job. That's it. Bro, that's it. All right, he didn't qualify. I heard he didn't qualify. All right. I'm telling you. I am I will tell you, I hear every other day about this dude, Jordan. I'm telling you, every day. Jordan is bomb. He like, you know, W, this guy Jordan. You know, I just I, I he was skimming like I saw one quarter of he played on stream and in, in, in September. I, I wonder if he's wearing the same scheme. You know, I, he might come out here with the bruiser. He might come out here with the jukebox. I don't know. You know, this guy Jordan. I'm telling you, man. But anyway, and we got J Wall, Mister Football. Risky, oh man, T ski. This is a sneaky tough chat. Who do we like? We got Skimbo at number nine on the power ranking right here. That's pretty crazy. So who do we like, chat? Is Life Thief still in here? Life Thief, I want to talk on the microphone. Life Thief, Life Thief, I want to talk on the microphone. Life Thief, if you're not talking on the microphone, I'm banning you. If you're not getting on the microphone with me, I'm banning you. J Wall, I mean, I like Skimbo, but you know, I mean, we were J Wall. J Wall is a good player. Life Thief, let me know when you're ready to talk, bro. I'm here, man. Life Thief, I want to talk. I need, I need to find out, man. Xbox is kind of super ass now. I'm not even making that argument no more. Xbox was good before all these nerd ass kids came over and made Xbox whack. Xbox is super whack now. And I'm the I'm the Xbox OG triple OG. Xbox is fucking ass. Alright, let's go to the, the Bengals. Crush. Everybody's afraid of Crush, huh? There's just nobody joining. Henny Chulo, Electric. I mean Krill. My man Merksta. I mean Jesus. I mean I'm, Crush is the unbeatable, huh? Nobody from EMB went to Bengals.
Mdelo, I'm gonna put you right here. You right here, Mdelo. Mdelo, you could pop because this is this is a shitty club. You could be crush. I want to talk to my man, Life Life Chief, dude. I want to talk to him because he airing me out like he's really angry at me. Like, y'all qualify? Browns, Big Country, Joke, Kells, Casanta. This is Big Country versus Joke. Who you got, chat? A bunch of goddamn runners right here. That boy Kells is running 700 times. There's not 700 plays in the game, but Kells is going to find a, a way to run 700 times. But obviously, Joke is the two-time Browns champion, so he um he got to be got to be up here. You know what I'm saying got to be the favorite. Now we go to the Ravens. I'm picking Ravens next year. Yep. I've seen enough. I'm picking the Ravens. Seen enough. Go Ravens next year. Picking Ravens. I'm picking the Ravens next year. Hot Eagle one dot. He gonna get there, yo. JS the best. They're yeah, probably JS the best. I don't know. H dot. Hot Eagle dot. Now let's move on to um the Steelers. It's Joel made it. Uh, is this all that's it? who the deliverance the two time? Rage went damn. Rage ran from Clef. Damn. Rage versus Ish. I mean, I Joel gotta be up there too, right? Nate, Nate, let's let's fucking all right. BB and Nate, let's relax. People, yo, know, people overrate the shit out of Madden Clout. People over BB and Nate. Imagine me not putting me on the fucking list. I'm BB and Nate. Nobody even look. Nobody even, there's not even a picture of you on the internet. Like what? Like, yo, it's got to be a picture of you on the internet for you to be, that it, I'll put me on every list. I'm the fucking man. I won weekend. I went 24-1. and one. He lost the proof. He lost the GS Roadmaster in weekend league. Sodak, my guy, man. <laughs> Wait, why was it BB and Nate on the Titans? No, but anyway, still is. I mean, Ish, I mean, it, I don't think, Ish is my guy, but I don't think he's good. Uh, Joel, Rage, I guess Rage is to lose, I think, I don't know, Joel versus Rage, probably, I don't know, I haven't had, I haven't seen, uh, I haven't seen Joel play, I haven't really watched him play, the Roadmaster, BBN Nate, yeah, you're hell, man, but listen, I'm on the fucking list, and you're not, ha <laughs> fucking loser, <laughs> all right, Colts, um, little man. Uh, little man, Lucas. Uh, shift got a call. I don't know if he made it. Shift got a call. I mean, Pony Spoto is back. I heard this team Elijah guy is kind of hell. <laughs> like I heard this guy team Elijah is pretty pretty hell. I don't know who this is, but I heard he's pretty hell. L O B T V T X. L O B. No, but I mean, little man. I I, I don't know if Spoto's playing like he was, but he's gonna be pretty. Dead. Nick Nick is beast. Well, number one, Nick is beast wins the Jaguars and then leaves. Like what? I don't understand. Like, listen, if I won a club, which I've never won a club, I wish one day maybe I could win a club. The Lord blesses me and I could win a club. 
Um, I would never leave that club until I lost that club about five times in a row. I don't understand how people think, really. You know. But Colts probably a little man. Uh, Spoto, that's that's tough. We go over here to the Jaguars. Drenny J himself. Jet. Shacoby. Is this real? Like, is this really... Uh, this is a s slobber knockers. I mean, Drenny got... I mean, listen. Jay... It, uh, Jay is somebody, he always tell you how good he is and how like, he know how to play the game. Jet is another one. Jet will have you thinking he's the best in the world. Shakob, like, these guys, the, yo, the Jay himself, Jet still, Shakobi, these guys belong, like, with Niners and Taylor Gang and, and freaking, uh, who else is it, in Juan. It's sad that Jet has fallen from, from Madden Hall of Fame to fucking, like, Juan and Taylor Gang level. But he has. You know, that loss... Honestly, I don't think I've talked to Jet on the phone since last Club Series loss, you know? So, Kobe, you are on 49ers level and Juan's level. Yes. Let's not start overrating Clout. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Shakobi probably, I don't know. But he's still on, like, Niners level. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he did win the FNF, but so did Saint, and we didn't really talk about him. But honestly, Drenny is 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 a, a class above these dudes, I think. I don't know. You know? Drenny is a class. Drenny is, like, elite, elite. <laughs> 49ers is some shit. <laughs> <laughs> 49 my 94 randy moss with 49ers can maxed out texans joe rice mills uh oh and chewbacca lemon this is joe rice guys don't worry about it i don't have to laugh I, I play the texans you know there's there's nobody that can beat me in the texans you know it's just i'm hustle pilsen you know i i make all the right reads i don't need the lab but i don't worry about the run i'm not gonna lose to a runner kids told me to play the run defense i'm fine don't worry dubby i'm going to win this easily uh i don't need to practice you know i i just go out there and play i the next the, i'm number 10 on the list and the next highest person is 248 Yeah. Yeah. Fucking loser. But yeah, that's Wes Wesley gonna win that. Next, Titans. Kurtobin. God, this is a fucking bazoo. Shane? Slim? This, this, <laughs> Hefe? Intoxic Ape? I can't lie. The fact BB and Nate, yo, and the, hey, the fact BB and Nate didn't make this list is, yo, you suck. Yo, the fact you couldn't make this list, bro, anybody can make this list. You didn't make a list with Shane and F.A. and Intoxic A. Yo, you gotta be ass to not make this list. <laughs> like, what? Like, what? Yo, yeah. <laughs> yo, Shane is hell. Yeah, Nate is ass. Nate, your ass. Nate is ass. Nate is ass. That's a bazooka club. Oh, they got Katobin in there. Katobin probably pops up. Isaacs, this dude is a CFM running specialist. Dude had 5,000 yards with Le'Veon Bell in the season. God bless whoever got to play him. All right, let's go to the... Oh, we can't scroll over no more. All right, Broncos. Oreo. Noonan went from the... Noonan, you... Mm. Turbo Jeff. Oreo. This guy's in CFM, I think. Box Eam. He's... Uh, Turbo Jeff. Oreo. J Tibbs in here. Okay. No, that's going to be tough. Oreo might pop up. Chargers. Problem. TNC? Is there a just? Is there another TNC guy I don't know about? What? 
There's another TNC? Who the fuck is TNC Justin? What? Who is Justin? Is he hell? Oh, that's Yogurt Guy? Oh, never mind. All right, never mind. I like the name TNC Justin better than... All right, all right, all right. Never mind. Yeah, he's ass. Kid Wiz? Okay, Kid Wiz. The, me and Kid Wiz used to go at it on Mutt back in Madden 16. But anyway, uh, Golden Glover, Cool Hand Luke. Cool Hand Luke was the skin... Skimbo lost to Cool Hand Luke. Big George. Okay, Big George. I heard charges. Problem? Problem's going to be playing that 1940s football. Uh, this is problems to lose. Even though he hasn't played in like a month. But, you know, he'll get out there, run the ball, and play smart. Chiefs. Mo versus Dan Rue. I will tell you, this is one we got to watch. Everybody ran. Oh, I just deleted Mo. Oh, my God. How I would do that? Yeah. You know. Oh, there he is back. Mo versus Dan Rue. This is must watch Madden. But we got Boktober here too. Just in case you guys are wondering, Boktober is doing the Chiefs. Z6, go for it. Yo, wait, how are y'all trying to gamble against Dan Rue? Damn. Beast Mode Mac. We talked about Beast Mode Mac already. We get BC. He tapped out. He felt the flow. He don't want no more. <laughs> Boktober. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Boktober. Yo. <laughs> Time about chat. Who, who, who's homies with Boktober? Who is Boktober? Yeah. All right. Well, let me go on the Raiders. Pavin. Franchise ZG going to the Raiders. Pavin. This looks like nobody really want to challenge Pavin. So, which is the toughest club? I will tell you, Jets is pretty good. I feel like Jets is always pretty good. Which other one, chat, do we think is pretty good? Um, Bills was pretty good. Patriots was pretty good. Jaguars, obviously. Niners. The Niners is a slobber knocker. The Niners. The Niners. Juan J. Bird Niner. This is just hell. This is going to be so much fun this upcoming uh, week. God, this is going to be fun the upcoming week, chat. That's going to be fun. It's going to be pure, unadulterated fun. Are you going to be here for it? That's my question. Now, my question is, how many of these people are going to stream games? Probably not very many. Um... I will I'll be I'll completely honest with you guys, man. It is fucking idiotic to stream football games. It really is. Uh, to me, I think it's really stupid to stream Madden. It really is. Um, so, if you do do it, uh, God bless your heart. Um, it's going to be fun to watch. But honestly, uh, Can we talk about Jalen Ramsey? No, because the Eagles should have went and got Jalen Ramsey. I'm going to be honest. But we talk about the Rams, man. The Rams playing a running back, a quarterback, a D-tackle, and now they're going to have to pick a corner. The Rams are going to be ass real soon. Chat, let me tell you something. And they have no first-round picks the next two years. The Rams are going to be ass real soon. You know, I, I think the, the, the Rams, you know, 
Yeah. Rams are going to be bad. You know, and for me... Yeah, but the thing about... It's like, forget the picks, get the goals. The one thing that's good about draft picks, right? You draft a player, and now that player is on your team for four or five years, and you don't have to pay him a lot of money. You know? But now you just traded two young players. Now, now you got to see... You guys see them as picks. What they see them as decent, at least decent players, starters, that they don't have to pay a lot of money. Now they traded two of those guys for a player they're going to have to pay $20 million a year. You know? Uh, and, and honestly, you guys watch the, the Rams. Now, now you guys, I don't watch the Rams that much. You know, uh, and for me... Ramsey's not signing a loaner deal. Like, why would Ramsey say, okay, I'll sign for one year? He's the best corner in football, right? He wants to sign for the max. Why would he ever, you know what I'm saying? Why would he ever sign for a loaner deal? Now, I, I'll tell you this. Um, for me, I don't know. Like, where? I would tell you, I watched the, I, I watch the Eagles in the corner is probably their weakest position. I don't think it's the... Honestly, I'm I'm not a believer that you, the Eagles need to have stellar corners. I think the the Eagles' biggest weakness is corner. Um, I don't know if that's the Rams' biggest weakness. I don't know. I don't really watch them to break them down like that. I would assume Talib and Marcus Peters was halfway decent. It's got to be better than what the Eagles have. Maybe not. But um, I'm not a believer in needing the best corners. I, I, I watched the Eagles, and, and this is how I feel about the Eagles, man. The Eagles' defense it is 1,000%. And this, unlike most every other team, is designed to play with the lead. If the Eagles have a lead and can get a lead, their defense is pretty goddamn good. But if they're losing a game or they're in a bad or tight game, their defense is too basic, and the talent is really just not there to play that basic when you have when you're when you're losing a game. When the Eagles won the Super Bowl, they scored 20 points in first quarters every game. Like they were just blowing teams out, getting a lead and then playing with that lead. And it made the defense that much easier to play. You know, and, and that that's pretty much why I really don't think uh corner is something the Eagles need to fax, you know, mortgage their whole future for. Really. Now I would honestly I would have given up two first round picks for Ramsey probably if you were able to sign him, you know. Aaron Donald is the best defensive player. I, I think so. But this is and this is the one thing about off defensive players to me, is like Donald is the best player, but I mean that one team triple team them, you know? So if you don't have players around him, like you could have you can have so many great players, but if you don't have players around them to help them, I mean, it's easier to take those players away. And that's the one thing I feel about cornerback. It's like, if you don't have two good ones, like, what's the point of one good one? I mean, I don't know. I, I just, like, if I'm, if I'm, like, an offensive coordinator, all right, I'm cool. You can have Ramsey. Let me go. Let me take Ramsey and let me go. I'm going to run a streak on him and he's not in the play no more. You know, I don't know. I just... You know, I would rather have now. If you ask me, if the Eagles, um, if the Eagles, if you could have Von Miller or Jalen Ramsey, I, I probably would have picked Ramsey. But the Eagles haven't gotten much out of their defensive ends. Plus, Jalen is a lot younger than Von Miller, but Mac Mac is not Mac is not better than Aaron Donald. Because what Aaron Donald does is he bring Aaron Donald can play every position on the offensive defensive line, and he, he you know I don't know. And he does it from every like he kills the run, he kills the pass. He's just way he's way different than Khalil Mack, you know. But anyway, yeah, talking. I swear, God, when you talk so much, you gotta make you yawn like shit. Yeah, Von Miller. Von Miller's pretty hell. But anyway, chat man, this this was the uh Nita Podcast episode fifty one. We are on fifty two late next year. You got or next week. None of you guys have I mean I have nothing to do for fifty two weeks. I have no big celebration or anything. You know. 
Hopefully some of these club series games will get pay- played next weekend. Um, Dub, thoughts on, thoughts on Madden 20. Honky Kong, it's fucking great, dude. Make sure you go grab it and play it. We will be playing Pro-Am tonight, probably in about an hour, Mopar. But I'm going to get off, go get something to eat. Definitely playing some uh, podcasts. Uh, no, uh, YG, I'll tell you something. I don't know shit about soccer. I don't. You know, I p- never played soccer, never watched soccer. I'm 1,000% American. I don't, I don't know shit about soccer, you know. If I had a first pick in the CFM, I would never pick a defensive player. The, my first pick in the CFM would probably be Lamar Jackson or Patrick Mahomes. May, uh, honestly, in this man, it would probably be Mahomes because he's faster, better. He th- He's not faster, but behind the line, he has the skate artist. He has dashing that eye. He chucks the ball a thousand yards. It'd be Mahomes. Mahomes would be the first pick, you know. But anyway, this was the Nita Podcast. This was episode 51. This will be on YouTube tomorrow. Make sure y'all check it out. Check out my CFMs on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, hit the like button. 